Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so excited about watching this, but if this was me and uh, I tried to justify this to, to my wife, oh, she would, she would just, it's 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Is anything going to happen? Yeah, there's been a lot of amazing sales uh, over the last few years that I've tracked on eBay, but let's face it, nothing's going to be quite like what we're going to review today. Today we've got a special sale happening, finishing up within the next 40 minutes. And of course, I'm talking about the biggest, rarest, most expensive CRT most likely ever manufactured, maybe besides the first ones, considering they would have had to spend millions probably to develop it. But we're talking about the D32. This is a BVM Sony. That's a broadcast monitor. So this is the highest quality ever made. It's also the largest uh, BVM ever made. And it's one of the best series. That's the D series as far as versatility. Uh, I mean, this thing will do it all. We'll get into it uh, a little bit more details on the monitor itself, but I just hope you're ready because we're about to witness probably the biggest and most grand eBay sale of a CRT. All right, so get ready. But before we jump into the eBay ad, here's some more information on the monitor itself. Hey, so if you want to go ahead and jump ahead to the point where we're actually looking at the finish up of this auction and just skip all this stuff, then check out the marker here. This is going to be the time to jump ahead to. But otherwise, just hang out with me and we'll go through some specific features and learn a little bit more about the D series. Okay, so let's jump in now to the information on the monitor itself, the D32. And we'll just start by looking at what Sony considered this to be. They called this the master monitor. So this would have been the largest showcase monitor for either your uh, movie studio or editing studio. I mean, this was a very expensive monitor, so it was rarely going to be sold to anybody that wasn't commercially, uh, you know, licensed or had some kind of commercial use for the machine. And so the newly developed tube would support up to a thousand TV lines for the resolution. And that was in any format, whether it was four by three or 16 by nine you could get the full 32 inches and there was nothing bigger than that 32 inch version of it. Now you will notice some of these did have accessories such as uh, control units built into them. All of them either need that control unit built into it or they needed to be separate. Most of these were just sold as the monitor only. It can accept pretty much any analog format just about. You're looking at all the specific ones right here on your screen. They're listed on what it can accept. These monitors did come with a built-in uh, analog video component slash RGB, and it actually could work with, I think, even composite. Uh, but there's a list here of all the boards. There was a built-in board, and then there were four slots built into it besides that board that you could use in combination with each other or just in unison by themselves and do different things, have different connections come into the monitor and then use your BKM 10R control unit to change the settings on it. Here's a listing of a lot of the compatible cards. There was a handheld unit, a lot of accessories for this. Let's look down here at more of the specifics again on the monitor. If you want to just freeze this and take a look at any of this specifically, you're, you're more than welcome to. I'm going to jump to some important things. As far as power requirements, this one can go pretty much worldwide, 100 to 240 volts. And then here's an idea of how much power consumption, so quite a bit. There's some dimensions on the actual screen size, but I want to show you how much. Now, this would have just been the monitor by itself with the built-in card and nothing else. So those cards can be built in and actually add to the weight of the monitor because they're quite heavy themselves. But just the monitor itself is over 200 pounds, 206 pounds. Uh, on that thing and that is 94 kilograms a little bit of a warning here they do have a built-in overload feature so there is an overload feature on this monitor but uh, there you go that's some information I'll leave a link to this uh, PDF that shows a lot of the uh, optional cards and, and more information if you want to look there for more data on the 32 inch multi-format CRT monitors so let's do a quick overview of the selling ad, you know, right before the uh, actual listing closes out in 35 minutes. Currently, the bid is $7,000 US dollars. And if you want shipping, it's available for $550 for freight, which is awesome. 
This one's being sold from Salt Lake City, Utah, in the United States. And it is coming from somebody with a 100% positive feedback rating, which is great. We do have some other information that I have uncovered about this specific BVM, this exact one. I'll tell you a little bit about that as we look through this advertisement here. This is the bid history for it. Uh, we're looking at someone came out with an initial bid of $5,000. And then whoever is B all the way to 1, they have been bidding, 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 and they really want this monitor. So I noticed that, you know, somebody here, probably this person may have tried to bid again and hit the 6000 and then 7000 and it's set at 7000 since the 4th of November, and today is the 11th of November. And so the same bidder came back and dropped an additional bid on it today. Uh, we'll look at some pictures. Nice calibration screen, uh, 47,000 hours, updated firmware, double handle, which is very much, of course, part of this monitor. Here's a look at the input cards. We've got the standard card right here that comes with the monitor, which will do pretty much all inputs on it. And then I can't tell what that is. Uh, it's an analog board next to it, a 24N. And then a 42 HD, and then that's just the ISR board next to that. Uh, does come with a controller, which is important. You need that to even make any adjustments on these larger monitors. And that's all the pictures. Okay, so here it is. Does not have the original tube, replacement tube, closer to 20,000 hours. But it is as is. So that's your big warning right here. Sorry, that's right at the top. And so it is as is. Who's ever bidding on this, you're going to get it. It's going to work or it's not going to work eventually. It could go out. Never could go out. A thousand hours. You never can tell with these BVMs. I'm sorry to tell you, these BVMs, the higher end ones, are some of the more finicky and just complicated, really highly engineered machines. And so they can develop crazy little shorts that happen in them and it's just uh something that uh, tends to happen that's why this one had a tube replaced in it so let's talk about the tube replacement in a second uh, no bnc cables it says here's refurbished by save on pat and checked out calibrated recap geometry is near perfect near perfect picture uniformity and let's talk about the refurbished part so i talked to my friend who um I, I, just so you know, I do communicate with Pat, and I've actually had him help me with some things. He's a great dude. So, I mean, if you do need his services, there's things that I can't do. This guy's got so much more experience than me, and maybe in the future I'll go into that a little bit more clearly just to give you guys a, I mean, a real idea how much more. I mean, this is a lifetime that he's been working in electrical engineering and specifically the CRT uh, realm of technology. So... You know, even for me, there's no way I could ever l learn as much as he did because he's got 60 years on me as far as experience and knowledge and things. Uh, the D32 originally was sold by Pat, so of course he checked out the boards and recapped them, uh, the vital caps, and checked everything out. So he runs a lot of diagnostic tests that uh, I'll show you some other time, a couple of those on the PSU and other things. And then uh, the tube on the original D32 th that this one is, it's shorted out, which does happen on these monitors. I'm sorry, it does happen. The PA board on these D series, uh, especially like 20s, 24s, and 32s, it can be very finicky. There's a couple resistors on there. I've done a video on how the caps can go out in a couple spots on there. And so if that happens, it can create a short that uh, if, if you know, if you actually turn up your brightness or contrast too high can short out the tube these internals and hardware inside this monitor can drive actually the beams way beyond what the tube itself could handle because these were custom sony tubes and what would happen is over time you'd crank up that brightness or contrast too high and then some people who own these know that you'll have an overload that can kick on and shut the monitor off if it gets too high well if that overload feature fails and it continues to send that brightness into the tube. Eventually, it just shorts and pops and fails and kills the tube completely. Pat actually took a tube from the A32-inch monitor, which he had, which had was used. I think that's why he's getting this number of 20,000. That's probably how many hours Pat had registered from the A-series. So 
the tube was taken from an A series installed in this D series. You can do that. I've shown you that with other monitors, but especially on those D and A series monitors, they are uh, all interchangeable as far as the tube is concerned on those two. So just some crazy information. We're really going to get down here. Let's get back. I'll, I'll come back to you when we get really close to this monitor auction actually closing out. I don't know why I'm so excited about watching this, but it's just the fact that uh, getting to see one of these sell. You know, that's a good thing about eBay. Let's face it. Even if you're not the one buying, I mean, you know, somebody famous could be jumping on this. Who knows, right? So, uh, I mean, I'm starting to get those, uh, whew, I get some, like, chills. <laughs> Silly, stupid. Uh, let's just have some fun, right? So, uh, let me just uh, look over here at my buddy Brutus. You know, I've never talked to you guys really about Brutus, but he's been here and uh, assisted me through every show. So, jump over and give a quick shot of the Brutus cam. How you doing down there, buddy? Yeah, you look pretty excited. <laughs> Oh, Brutus, that's pretty much what he does everything. But man, I've got those chills. They're multiplying. And I'm losing control. We got two minutes left. Oh, this is electrifying. All right, enough silliness. Come on. Whew. Could you imagine? Oh, my goodness. Like, if this was me and uh, I tried to justify this to, to my wife, oh, she would... She would just, she would just love me forever. I'm sure, right? Because she'd probably love to have this ten thousand dollars CRT in our house. <laughs> uh, I wish. Oh my goodness! Here we go. Last minute. Let's see how this winds up. Man, I just don't know. I don't think there's going to be a run on it. But it's been fun to watch here. Oh man, twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Is anything going to happen? Anybody going to place another bid? Oh, come on. Come on. Somebody do it. Somebody bite. Somebody. Anybody. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. And I don't see anything. Any big jumps? Come on. Bidding is ended. Bidding is ended. Let's refresh. Make sure there's nothing else. Well, we, we tried to have some fun with it. It's pretty historic still at seven thousand or seventy five hundred dollars. You know who really loves this is eBay. <laughs> they get their they get their piece of the pie, their ten percent. So I'm sure they're quite thrilled with this old CRT going for that much. But um, yeah, and that's what you gotta remember. Just for selling this, you're gonna pay a fee of seven hundred and fifty dollars if you get the shipping paid. So uh that's literally more than the shipping cost eBay is going to charge just to sell it. But hey, you know, where else are you going to get a chance to do something like this? I don't know if they were expecting to get more. Hopefully they're happy. Everybody ends up happy. Um, you know, there are some other interesting sales going on as we speak right now on eBay. And uh, so we'll see if any of those wind up being special. I will tell you there is also a Sony BVM. So let's check this out real quick. Sony BVM A series that was just listed today. And it is zero bid starting at 3500. So only 3500. What a steal. But the good thing is this unit includes the 68X RGB adapter. Uh, there might be some issues with this one. Uh, still, it's tested has 60 59 well 58,000 hours technically on it now this is something the a series did see how it says uh operation time and then crt turn on time so when you would leave these on they would go into like a, a self turn off mode if you just left them running and then when you put a signal into it or sent the remote control and told the remote to turn the monitor back on it would automatically kick on so that's why on these older the late models a series will list operation time which is the time the actual monitor has had some type of power turned on even in standby mode and then crt turn on time is obviously the amount of time that's actually on the tube itself and so that was fun but you know i'll continue to monitor these things if anything great happens uh might do a video about it most likely we will round out the year with a great 
celebration of all the insane sales and you know go through and do the last look at the last quarter of sales for CRTs overall on eBay and have the year-end market watch episode that uh, will come out probably you know sometime in late December but uh, before that just look for some more great repair videos coming I've got plenty already shot and just waiting to be edited and I'll definitely see you guys next time with some more retro content